Let us now examine Faraday's experiment. Michael Faraday wound a cylindrical coil of copper wire round a paper tube. As we are going to see in the demonstration. He then connected the ends of the copper wire to a center zero uh, sensitive galvanometer. He then plunged a magnet into the coil and removed it from the opposite side. The observation that was made, he noted that the galvanometer pointer gives a momentary deflection, showing that current has been induced in the coil. He also noted that no current was induced by simply allowing the magnet to remain at rest inside or outside the coil. This diagram shows uh, the demonstration that was done where a magnet is moving towards a coil of copper wire of a number of turns. That's like a solenoid. And then the coil of copper wire is connected to a sensitive galvanometer. So by moving the magnet into the coil, the galvanometer deflects to the left. And when the magnet is removed from the other side of the coil, the galvanometer again deflects, but this time in the opposite direction. So, just to emphasize on something, that the presence of magnetic field is not enough to induce current in a conductor. The magnet being outside the coil or inside the coil, even though the magnetic field is present, but it is not changing. So there must be relative motion between the magnet and the coil for EMF to be induced. That is when magnetic field is made to change or magnetic flux is made to change.